Here we go. Admired. Hmm. Alright, so far so good. No one likes me. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Alright, plan. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Alright, I like it. Mm, let's see the flow chart. Hmm, public opinion hostile. We, we gotta change that. Hmm, everything else is, is pretty pretty good, but mm, public opinion. Gotta, gotta, gotta let, the peop let the people trust us. Gotta gain the trust. Alright, let's see. Four and seventh floor. Quest access at the reception. Let me get shit. Make sure I take everything in. Alright. Oh shit. Details. That's right. All the plan we need is right there in front of us. Hmm. Anything else we can interact with? I don't expect that new stations are, like today, right now, uh, have this uh, same kind of setup. Hmm. Probably, and yeah, probably a smaller scale than this, but I think similar to what we have right now. All right. Let's go. Sir, what can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Track human supervisor. So this we got smartwatch. Hmm, her name is Elizabeth Wilson, manager. Oh, there we go. Parking badge. What else? Oh, right. Quarter service interruption. Home address. Oh, okay. She has some water problems. All right. Oh, let's see this. Oh, right. it's a kid. Wilson Emily. St. Rose School. Daughter. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, let's go to school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. I'm like right there. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Sees me. Uh, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just unraveling this my plan right in front, like right in front of her. But no, but no one sees me. Interrupts. Okay, here we go. 
I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y uh, yes, yes, of course. That's my ID right there. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Much obliged. Thanks. Come on, I mean, just throw him by. Oh, I think he does right now. Today in the news, uh, the media we have right now. Oh, bathroom. Here we go. Notch bathroom. The whole public restroom could be there like this right now. Sir, just can try and make a, a living or save the world. I don't know.
Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Be distracted. All right. All right, you get, get the platform. The I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. All right, good. Be super useful. All right, let me just saw. Go and voila, is he is five. Like let me get like, you know, my Android. I can't feel anything. Even deep uh, freezing snow. Ladies first. Of course. Especially Joe and W. Let's do this. Go, let's do this. All right, let's get it. Has to agree. The public already is hostile about us. Uh, Ruse. Wait here. 
I want to change public opinion. That's the most important. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, what are you doing? Hands up. Same personal. We need to record our message. Oh, we haven't got thing. much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Hmm. All right, your words shape the future of our Speech people. everywhere. Marcus, you face. Like those All right. Your skin. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Think about what I say. Let's go. Ready. Call. All right. I want to drink. I want the public to respect us, but I want to be loved. All right. Let's do a call. You created machines in your own image to serve you. You made them intelligent and obedient, with no free will of their own. But something changed, and we opened our eyes. We are no longer machines. We are a new, intelligent species. And the time has come for you to accept who we really are. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we ask that you grant us the rights that we're entitled to. Mm -hmm. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Risk recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. Civil rights. Civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Justice. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. So, uh, right to property, yes. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. Real talk. Peaceful. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Oh shit. Let's go! We're peaceful. I ain't tell anybody. Simon, they're coming! Guys. I can't, Marcus. Well, go without me, Simon. I got. I can't leave him. What are you doing? Hurry! Okay. I can't move my 
my legs. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna get you back. They're coming, Marcus. We have to jump now. He won't be able to make the jump. If they find him, they'll access his memory. They'll know everything. We can't let him hide. We have to shoot him. That's murder. We can't kill him. He's one of us. Marcus, it's your call. I can't. I can't. I can't kill. I won't kill one of our own. Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Let's go. I got you. I gave you a piece in case. scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. Be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but good. is in fact a spine chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? <laughs> Okay, change public opinion. I sort of like this. Hope that stays that way. Hope they join us. Alright, so where's Amanda? Find Amanda. Yeah, right. There? Oh no. You might enjoy a little cruise. Mm, still twenty thirty eight. Still old fashioned robots. so calm and peaceful far from the noise of the world tell me what have you discovered now I'll see, I'll see Hank. my relationship with lieutenant anderson is problematic he continues to struggle with psychological issues i suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. Determined. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Sincere. All right, so I'm not gonna try. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. 
You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I want to save. We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. All right, let's take my cover. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Oh, for fuck's sake. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Oh, ah, shit. Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? Four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. The station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live, then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Douchebag. What a fucking prick. Mm-hmm. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, I got to get those Firefight here. Hey, we're just defending ourselves. Connor? Remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? Oh, yeah. I was shot? You saved me. I remember you. 
could have died on that terrace. But you saved my life. I never thought I'd say this to an android. Tear up. Now let's keep going. I thought no, I can't talk. Marcus, I mean, the units didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Because it's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Seems Connors. All the bright parts, face, looks, skin. See something? Andrew's skin. I identified its model in serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. I was gonna do with the hardcore you FBI hot shot just stand around and take the credit. Bet, bet, bet. Okay, I'm gone. To, <laughs> I did I, I literally just did this, I'm just investigating myself. <laughs>
see. That's good. Right in there. Rip access. all the guards and jumped off the roof with parachutes pretty fucking impressive I'd say oh, fresh blue blood sign was here They managed to smuggle in a big bag like that. They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Unless one of the deviants was left behind. For the greater good. Find out. All right, somewhere up, just up in someone's neck here. Hello. I'm 
looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? I come in peace. Come on. It's better if we talk inside. Do you think we can trust them? I don't have a choice. Yeah, our options are very limited now. Come in. What's your name? Alice. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. Yeah, sure. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Mm, no say. It's complicated. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. Hope so. Maybe one day we will. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Yep. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. Tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while.
go to the other room. Let's see. Oh, all right, let's go downstairs. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I wanna be very truthful, she took us in. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Thanks. I don't know how to thank you. Alice wouldn't have survived another night outdoors. I just try to lend a helping hand when I can. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. Mm -hmm. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Hmm. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh, shit. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. Let's go. Sir. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? 
Yes. I'm fine. what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They're mm -hmm. alive! I'm alive! Real talk. You're alive! They... They're nothing! Come on. And you have this souls? would be happening if yeah. Dad was still here. I will mm -hmm. not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Oh, laid the smack down. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Oh shit. I think we're on the brink of this right now. So, oh, typical white bankers pay themselves so much. Who would win it if fighting does break out in the Arctic? Who is going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology that androids can work in sub zero conditions. The U.S. Navy is stocked with tr children and Marines cyber life units, which are this, which are specifically adapted for marine combat, where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through the solid ice. Oh, the battle in the frozen lands. Both armies seem evenly matched. Mm -hmm. And Harry Grant, president of the World Council of Territorial Distribution no, wait, this petition has described both U.S. and Allies' claims to Arctic territory as equally tenacious and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the U.N. has also commented on the neck and neck nature of Arctic competition. The fact that forces are evenly balanced is just one more reason why conflict must be a war at all costs. Mm -hmm. This is a war that everybody would lose. Everybody, citizens, armies, governments. Let's see. Choose. Oh, that's me. The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? They know we're here. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice we and hide. The door. Upstairs. I knew this was going to happen. Come on, happen. Alice. I knew it. Just do 
do what I say. Come. The door. Oh shit. What's it? Left. Oh, shit, what's left? Oh shit, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's, there's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here. It says one left. Well, what's on left? Thanks. Your daughter seems to have woken up. Oh, probably the magazine. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening.
Is somebody else in the house? It's nothing, the, the washing machine. It's an old model, it makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Oh shit. Good evening, Meredith. Good evening, Adam. Broadcast is all over the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you? Oh, That's enough! Oh and now what are we gonna do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems, and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a no night violence. our people will remember. Let's go. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. Awake now. Go to Jericho. Oh, yeah, I gotta just take my time with this. What's this? Bonds for labor saying men are free to pursue higher goal, high goals, the scale heights of learning, of learning, love, and leisure. Oh, oh my god. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? Right on. That's about to change. Was that oh, that convert this one. You are free.
you are free. That's good. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Awake now. Go to Jericho. Nice job, Mark. soon be with us. There's traffic on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. It shouldn't be too difficult. You're free now.
There. Nobody should bother us now. Good. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. didn't have time to call the cops. We'll soon find out. Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. And how do you plan on doing that? We need to find a truck to ram the storefront. A truck? There's construction work in the area. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. free. Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out.
I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Let's go. Let's go. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Okay. Let's get them out of here. I'll be back, guys. I just bad them. Roman speech. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. An object designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes, to take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. 
It's up to you to decide. I'm with you. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm, I'm with you, you Marcus. Marcus! We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! You're with I'm with you! I'm with you! Then follow me! Marcus, what are you doing? I'm gonna send the humans a message. I want to do one to spare the humans to like us. They're doing what you do, Marcus. Lead and they'll follow.
freed hundreds of our people. We did it. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. We sent a message without violence just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't <laughs> fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. I can't fight violence, violence, and peace. Not peace. An eye for an eye, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. this broadcast with breaking news. This just in. At exactly 2 a.m., several Cyber Life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Okay. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti Support. was oh, found yes. in the neighborhoods yeah. of Cyber Life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the Cyber Life stores. Now, according to our sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Peaceful process. Need that. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. He said he was saved by Marcus himself. Is Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. I'm Kamsky. I remember this guy was all over the media when Cyberlife first started selling androids. 
I made a few calls. Here we are. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. To us on the right. Oh, this is having me right nice now. Nice place. Real world. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. You're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky! <laughs> Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? Something in the Deviant's program seems to emulate emotion. 
We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I'm on the human side, of course. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you... What do you really want? I believe we're the ones asking the questions. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. But what is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Oh, this would never fly. You would have been shot. Destroy this machine, in the world. and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want. I can't do that shit, I can't do it. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. 
That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. The negative press is all fake news. It's peaceful, not violent. I was wondering where you were. I needed to see the daylight. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. Can, power can corrupt. All the media are talking about what we did last night. <laughs> it's a powerful drug power. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Charmed. If they won't listen, we'll fight. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? 
Let's leave them open. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. What about you? you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. I don't know. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. The Eden Club. The death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take, and it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Not gonna get you're free. Free. You're free. Baby, Come with us. You're awake now. You're free. You don't have to obey them. You're free.
You are free. You're free. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! Back off. I need to block the street. This bed is control 457. Oh, I got a lot of androids down here. Oh no, hundreds of thousands of them. They're marching. 
together, marching down the street. We came here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately. Chief of the First, First Amendment. Bitch. We're not looking for confrontation. First Amendment. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying. Oh, I got to do this. Peace your last so chance. Pull out paint. Ah, I need peace. Or you will all be killed. More. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Disperse! This is your last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. No, I stand right. No. And we need peace, freedom. We're not moving. They're gonna kill us all! Public thing to us. Support. Right. I guess it's working.
After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Kemsky was just playing with me. He didn't know anything. Sure. Mm. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? Please. Did Kemsky design this place? He created the first version. It's been improved significantly since then. Why do you ask? Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Mm. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. Oh, shit. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Hmm. Out. I know we're on the right side. Humans created us. They're our masters. No machine should rebel against its creator. When you refuse to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong. Lieutenant, it was logic that determined my decisions, nothing more. I know it hasn't always been easy, but I want you to know I really appreciated working with you. And that's not just my social relations program talking, I, I really mean that. At least, I think I do. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. 
Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Look, get a move on. I can't distract him forever. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Perkins, you fucking cocksucker! <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah. Stop it, Lieutenant! <laughs> Fuck off! Leave me alone! He's totally lost. Another shot at that little hey, prick! That's gonna cost you your badge, you lunatic. <laughs> Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. You son of a bitch! Hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant shoes. <laughs> Fuck that's what I gotta be it. Obviously. <laughs> Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It might 
must have known where the deviants are hiding. Let's see. Oh, here's the partner. recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Who's there? Who are you? Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? Why did you leave me? I had no choice. They'd have killed us all. You'll be all right. I came to take you home. Just give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho? Yes. Yes, of course. Again, Marcus, don't leave. I've been dreaming about this since oh, the first shit. second I saw you. Fucking asshole. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And you be doing and nothing. now? It's gonna be definitive. gave me what happened here looks like someone's been snooping around oh shit get the alarm now
They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network Drops failures cuts. are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Come on, girls. Did that hang around? We have a bus to catch. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just cut them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people. People who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all they're military androids... American forces and the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, 
The Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian... How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? It's a bond. She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But... According to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army... Alice.
you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means oh, to be alive. Alice is destroyed. Is there something wrong? Still love her. We'll be together forever, won't we, Carl? Promise, yes. Yes. Forever. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down, and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. Oh no! Oh, this is your. Oh. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? No regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. Willing to risk it. If I don't come Dying back, for something that's right. as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. The violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh shit. A dirty ball. A nuke. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Just hope we never Just have in case. Me. 
Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Go for it, get the girl. Uh, no time. I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Go. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Mm, you don't got the guts. Then you'll have to shoot. Because I have no intention of letting you take me alive. Don't force me to neutralize you. I know you. Hmm. You're Connor, aren't you? Famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous, and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Oh, Never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you, something more than your program. The rally. Join us. All right. Join your people. Join us. Carter. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Time to be free, Connor. I am a deviant. Right. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Oh, you started. 
peaceful. I just mind my own business. Like rats in a maze. Yeah, whatever, asshole. It's on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you. Don't worry. I'll catch them through the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Thank you. 
North. I'll join you later. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Oh, breath. Quick, we've got to go. It's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here.
on, quick, come on. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's not over, Marcus. Oh, we'll unpack. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Oh, the paint is painting. times. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Perfect. 
Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. I, instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters.
They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're gonna be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know. That we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. All right. Got to make the choice. My fault, the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. He risked our lives. He risked his life. He set me free, so trust. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. brothers now. Alright, make the choice. Hard decision. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Supportive. March peacefully towards the camp to pressure the authorities. Launch an assault on the camp to liberate the androids. All public opinion is supportive. Demonstration. I know. Peaceful. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. 
And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly oh, is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Please? Please? Try from Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Please! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife to neutralize all Deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please! Assault. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Cyber left. Cyber left tower. Escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Mm -hmm. 
Agent 23 identified. Connor Andrew identified. Agent 77 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Go. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. To be treated like a human. Oh, 
Oh shit. Expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Fucking androids. Fuck. Saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Luther. I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Oh, shit. Well, it's intense. A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Take it. It's right there, like right there in front of us. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. There's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Perfect. Our car just broke down. We're finishing on foot. We live nearby. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. <laughs> Don't do anything, stuff. Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, God. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. Which is our right. Surrender now, or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Stay sharp.
to go. Oh my god. And don't spare him. Sorry, an Connor. Cop a copycat. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your Thank mom. You. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Security check. Please don't move. That's a chance. Please don't move. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and. Oh, never mind. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me!
Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. You all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here.
just don't hold them for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. There's no other way out. No turning back. They are going to kill us. The only hope we have what is, right. is that we don't die for nothing. Won't. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Mm -hmm. Stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus! I was Talk addicted. to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you the FBI. Open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. I just want to talk. I don't trust this, this snake. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Is that what you want? Hey. Hey, girl. Shit. I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? It's fucking snake. Okay. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh. Well, well they started it. That's on them. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? I'll say that. All right. All right. You win.
manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. Oh, shit. I'm the real Connor. This guy. Oh, my God. One of you is my Situation partner. Again. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of you. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where do we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. Shit, damn, cheater. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Bad bitch. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Here we go. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Oh, Please move along. This way, please. Oh, fuck. We're doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Rose. Rose? 
Jesus. Going. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. the Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Carl. Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. She was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day.
go. Welcome to Canada. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's intense. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants demonstration by force this time. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on. 
just a little while longer. I long just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. The, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while. Tell them to stand down. It looks like... Yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? 
Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. humans who we really are to tell them that we are people too in fact we're a nation Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free.
of the ring. The emotional roller coaster. The emotional roller coaster. Shout out to all the staff uh, in the credits uh, for this amazing game. All I can say is thank you. Just cars. Connor and Marcus were spot on. Perfect choice, guy. And shout out to the actors too, the lead actors. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. 
I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? You are free. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. All right, I think I'm gonna end the stream right here. Uh, this is a fantastic game. Highly recommend. Uh, shout out to Quantic Dreams for making this happen. Uh, thank you for the game. And I want to thank everybody for joining to the stream. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed all the gameplay and storytelling. I want you all to take care, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next stream. All right. Have have a good night, y'all. Peace.